Hi everybody, Kathy here. I have a cute golden book journal to show you today. Um, I had so much fun making this. It was so, it just made me giggle when I, uh, when I looked through it and placed things in it. Golden books are fun to make. Um, what I do typically is I um, take apart the, the golden book and then I save the pages intact so that the entire book is placed inside the journal. And that kind of makes it nice. I put it in sequence so you can still go ahead and read the story. Um, this one was The Colorful Mouse. I put some rhinestones along the side. And then the material for the binding, I likened it to the material that you would see on a golden book. Um, as its binding, which is typically gold and black. I added rhinestones to the top and bottom and some two, two beads, string beads. And then the back, more rhinestones, and obviously the back of the book. Uh, it's a very chunky um, journal, as you can see, um, with lots of colorful lace. So let's take a peek inside. This has three signatures. And the paper collection I used was a mishmash of many. I started with a um, full pocket on this side with some journaling cards, added some lace here and a charm that says play. And that was kind of the theme of the book was, you know, play, uh, have fun, be yourself, celebrate. And here I have a little shaker card with some bright sequins in it. Made that into a flap or a little tuck spot. This is the title page of the book with some red lace. And I'll, I'll go through this quickly. I added some little sequins here and there, hearts and charms journaling cards with a little pad on the back that you can write on some tabs and this was a you know and get in the frame this was a cloth tab lots of places to write this is another cloth tab i got these from divana renee who makes some beautiful pockets and uh I saw her on one of the groups and she was offering to make pockets and I took her up on the offer and she makes some beautiful things. I have a couple of them here and this, this is removable and it also ter serves as a flap. Lots more places to write. I got these wonderful stamps, um, I want to say from pink flamingo 61 but they're very fun i thought they were perfect for this journal i put some cork made it look like a bulletin board here and uh this is a little flap here to tuck something under more i used all kinds of paper in here in all different shapes this is deli wrap paper you can get relatively inexpensively and a little side pocket, use your wings, and a pretty button. Some pink lace, another side flap, side little tuck spot. Find joy in the ordinary. So I put a few quotes here and there. Here's some pretty heart vellum. Always be on the lookout for the presence of wonder. Pretty paper. And I thought a lot of these colorful papers would serve, uh, would be a good spot for photos. Here's some other pretty little places to journal and a little tab up here. You can actually stick things up there, tuck them under. And this is the continuing book. And I had some heart stickers throughout. Pretty. Then here's a triple pocket here. 
And these are always fun pockets because they have so many spots. You can tuck things here. You can tuck things here. You can write here. When I put some yellow uh, lace, I have a tough time finding brightly colored lace for some reason. And here's another little pocket I put in. Pretty doily. And a little tag. I used a few um, cloth tabs. It's another little side pocket. Here's a double pocket. And more pockets and cards to write on. I love using washi tape to decorate the blank pages. And we're going into the second journal now. And here's a little banner. And I tuck some fun things underneath that. And here's a library pocket with a card. And then I attached three little glycine bags and made a little, almost a pocket book with little cards you can write on in there. I think they're pretty. And here's a cute little clip with a tag. And then I attached, can come off, I attached a little tablet in the back with graph paper. And look, don't be afraid to look around. Here's some turquoise lace, a pretty bright bingo card. I sewed a button in, in the middle, in the free space spot. And here's another large tag. I beaded some string. It says, you are fabulous. And at the back, I put another little pocket. Oop, it got stuck, there we go. And slip it right back under that tag that clip rather. And some more hearts, pretty hearts. I just put some rhinestones here. Throw kindness around like confetti. That reminded me of confetti. A little cloth tag. And some Monopoly game pieces. And in each of these, there's some Monopoly money. There's three little, little cards. You can take that off and kind of like a little book. Three little bags, I not cards. And use the little curly on the end of the clip. Curl that under with wire. Wire, whatever they're called. Not wire cutters. Wire shapers. What is your favorite color? Added a glycine bag here. More pretty lace. Whoops, let me get back in the frame. There we go. Pretty. Pretty colors, huh? And here's a journal that folds down. I know you've all seen these. I just love these. And I did these out of glycine, not glycine, vellum. Made it so pretty. And it's just a place you can tuck things underneath it with the extra vellum left over from those envelopes. And I have a little brad there and a little piece of a doily. Some pink lace. And here's some pretty pockets. Made this out of an envelope. Just clip the ends, it was easy. I um, decoupaged, mod podged a pretty napkin, put some brads and some pretty rhinestones. This one, I have a piece of a doily in the corner, and I made a little card to go in so you can write on it. And here I just, um, like those bulletin boards, put some ribbon to hold the things, like a belly band. More. Here's another pretty pocket, a fabric pocket, and in it I made a little book with pockets and such. Pretty. Put it back in its place. Oh, 
And another little pocket here with some flowers. You can never have too much happy, that's true. Another half of the glassine bag with just a little tag with some string on the end to make it look colorful. Yellow lace. Dream big, I added to the refrigerator. And a little tuck spot with a little card. Another little pad you can write on and journal on. And another journal card. This is a full pocket that you can take out. And there's also a magnet clip that you can use in your books. And a nice little fun clip. This is a double corner. I put some bookmarks in there. I always like to include bookmarks. I'm a reader and just in case you are too. If not, you can just use them to mark your spots in the journal. Some pretty white lace. And I thought these were so cute with the colored buttons and 3D shoes. And a pretty little pink flower on this side. And another little triple envelope. This time I put hearts inside. You can put whatever you want, though. Thought it was cute. And these are fabric washi from that I purchased from Amity Bloom. And a pretty little uh, charm that says, True you, strong, shine, be kind. And another little tag, tag that you can write on. The pretty pink heart. And this is a pocket I placed the paper bag pockets in. Some fun little stamps, more of those fun stamps. The red lace with a red heart. More of those little stamps. Thought they were so cute, made me happy. And this is a bag from a local restaurant I used. And I love this, La De Frickin' Da. <laughs> we always have a way to say things without using the swear words, don't we? Another little fabric piece. I made it into a tuck spot. And here's another little book under a pretty clip with a heart. More thing, no, more places to write. I thought this was so pretty. Whoops, I don't want to lose the heart. And here's another fun little, <laughs> fun little um, stamp. Hold on tight to your dreams. We all need dreams. Pretty. And a crown, because we all need a crown in our life. And a pretty little, another pretty little tag under a clothespin clip. And another pretty little tuck spot. You can write in there, but you still have two little places. This is a full page pocket with another pretty little tag. And that's the end. Well, I hope you enjoyed it. Um, this is the first golden book journal I've made, so I really enjoyed it, and uh, I hope you like it too. It'll be listed in my Etsy shop uh, if you're interested. Uh, but either way, thank you so much for watching. I hope you learned a few things or got a few ideas. Um, I know I always get ideas from you all every time I read your comments or look at your work. So thank you and have a great day. Bye.